What's going on everybody? Jason here and today I've got my hands on this beautiful 2021 Grand Cherokee L Summit. And starting things off in the front and you can just see just by looking at it from this angle that this is completely different obviously uh, in terms of the specs and what comes with the vehicle uh, compared to the Laredo Altitude version that I did. So let's jump in. Of course in the front other than the full redesign of this vehicle you also have the same LED lights of course and on these ones you do get the LED LED fog lights and of course you get these sensors all along the front bumper because this does have a ton a ton of safety features which I'll be going over in a few seconds and obviously one main thing from the altitude is you get the silver chrome all around the vehicle which is known in the summits of course along here as well your grill area and then of course your wheels uh, all along your LED headlights you get silver trim as well and this particular one does have the off-road front camera with the washer and you can kind of wash your camera if it does get dirty and I'm not sure if you can see but similar to the Laredo inside there those little shutter things those are your active grill shutters which come with all of these and this little square right there is obviously for your safety package and all of that which obviously comes standard and of course from the side you can tell obviously the main difference uh, compared to an altitude wheels but also you get silver that goes along here of course and then all along your window trim your roof rack as well is silver and then something cool about these, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, but right in there, these do get illuminated, obviously at nighttime, which is really cool and looks really fancy. But aside from the wheels and the silver trim that goes also along the bottom, and then you get your Grand Cherokee uh, silver badging as well. Other than that, it's exactly the same as a Laredo, just those uh, few touches that I've touched on and a bunch more on the interior. As for the wheels, these are your 20 inch silver aluminum polished wheels, which look absolutely beautiful. Just the spokes all around them just look really really nice and the silver wheels just tie into everything else that's silver on the vehicle it looks really really nice and because this is the summit this does have the quadra track 2 4x4 system which i'll be covering inside because you get to see a bunch of different options that you can flick through and with the summits standard comes the quadra track air suspension which of course is a must-have when you're going off-roading because with the air suspension you can actually go through 24 inches of fording water and this actually raises about 10.9 inches off the ground. So that's from the bottom of your vehicle and to the ground. And just to quickly show you how high you can put the air suspension, right now it's raising. Uh, so if you give it a few seconds, you'll see it at its you know, maximum height. Um, I believe it's almost done. Yeah, so it's done now. Uh, so you can see that massive, massive gap, obviously, which you need. Uh, to go off-roading on those rocks and stuff like that. You can't tell right now, but the roof, if this was a different color, uh, the vehicle, uh, the roof will typically come black, but as an option, you can get a body color roof. And if we come to the rear of the Grand Cherokee L Summit, something that I really like is this silver lining. Typically, it just goes around here on normal vehicles, but on this, it ties in through the whole back and to the other side, which looks really, really cool. So, like I mentioned on the Laredo video, you've got a nice little spoiler, uh, I guess you can call it, up top with the integrated brake light. And of course, you've got those beautiful thin looking uh, tail lights, which look absolutely stunning. You've got your silver Jeep logo. Uh, again, you've got your L logo and then 4x4. And on these ones, you also get a Summit Grand Cherokee badging as well. This is going to be hard to see, but on the rear cameras as well you do get a washer so if this gets dirty you can wash it just like the front facing camera and you get the silver lining that goes all the way around and with more parking sensors built in because it has a ton of features also you get dual exhaust on the Laredos, like I mentioned, they were hidden underneath, but these have that nice little design with the exhaust inside and it is dual, looks absolutely beautiful. Underneath here, of course, this is your hitch receiver at the back. Uh, if you do need to you know, use it for towing and stuff like that, there's two clips underneath here that you can pull off and the whole piece just comes off when you're using it, obviously, and you can just put it back in clip the pieces in and it's you know covered and just like the Laredo this also has a 3.45 rear axle ratio which gives you towing up to 6200 pounds but if you do go with the V8 version the Hemi you can tow up to 7200 pounds and coming into the rear it's very very similar obviously to the Laredo you've got your hooks at the bottom here um, along with your uh, tailgate closing button 12 volt adapter this right here is for the summits so all of these seats this one this one and the front two the middle section you can actually power fold 
and then the rear two you can power fold down and up also on the summit you get the Macintosh 19 speaker sound system, which sounds absolutely beautiful. And of course, underneath here, it's the same amount of space that you have with the um, Laredo I showed you right there. And then in this little box right here is your roadside kits that you would need, like a jack and stuff like that. So to show you the seats, this one right here is a third row right side. You press it and it folds down. Amazing. Same thing with the left side. It folds all the way down. And then if you want to fold those two up there, you're going to press 2R, which is right side, folds down, and then 2L, left side. Now, these two seats, you can fold back up with power, press that, it comes up on the right side, and it comes up. So a lot of accessibility, very, very nice to have and very convenient. And as for the key, it's the same as the Laredo. This is the new key fob for the Grand Cherokee Ls. You've got your lock, unlock, remote start, power tailgate, panic button, and then of course your Jeep logo at the back. Because this is keyless entry, like the Laredo, there's three buttons here. You press it to lock, just have the key with you underneath here and it unlocks. And to open your tailgate, simply double tap and it will just open. But if you wanna close it, you double tap again and it shuts down. And to remote start it, you just double tap, give it a second and it comes to life. And as for the engine options, when it comes to the summits, you can either get the 3.6 liter V6 or the 5.7 liter V8 Hemi. And with the V6, which this one has currently, you're gonna be getting 290 horsepower with 257 foot pound of torque. But if you switch that with the V8, it's gonna get bumped to 357 horsepower and 390 foot pound of torque. And of course, this is obviously an eight speed automatic, just like I mentioned in my previous video with the Laredo Altitude. Coming into the rear of the Summit, again, like there's a lot of stuff that is very, very unique. I'll cover in a second for the seats, but if you look at the doors, these just look amazing. You've got this nice wood finish that goes all the way around inside the vehicle as well. And kind of like this diamond stitching with a, you know, a bronze stitching, which looks really, really nice. And another cool thing, I'm not sure if you can see, but if you see that little red glow at the bottom, this is all around the door sills and everywhere it looks very, very nice and, you know, clean. Along your controls, you've got gloss black and then you've got speakers in the back here for Macintosh, of course. and. The Macintosh light obviously does come on really, really nice. And of course, more storage space here. You've also got a window shade, which you can clip onto the top as well. As for the seats, this is probably my favorite part. Uh, one of my favorite parts, actually. You've got leather, full leather all the way around, along with more of that uh, diamond stitching that goes all the way everywhere on the seats. Um, looks absolutely stunning. And if you actually pull this forward, you'll see here, they did not forget about the back passengers because also full leather with, of course, the diamond stitching all around. And you've got USB ports, cup holders on both sides, which is absolute must with a family. And in the center console back here, you get cup holders, a little bit of space. These cup holders are uh, illuminated at night. You've got leather on the handrest with the, of course, bronze stitching. You open that up, you get a little bit of more room to put whatever you need to. Now, typically this would fold up this way, but because you know, you don't wanna mess with the people back there. This actually folds forward and turns, I guess you can say into a table. You've got room in here to put whatever you need to. Um, this you can have like your laptop or something if you're, you know, working on stuff, which is really convenient. And of course, behind the seats, you've got more of this silver trim that kind of copies the outside of the vehicle. You've got netting back here to put small things on both sides. In the center here, you've got your dual control, obviously for the rear. Um, heating and cooling, you've got 115 volt plug back here, tons of USB ports, normal ones and type C, and also these seats back here, these two are heated seats. Also like how you can power fold the seats from the back, you can actually do them from here on the second row as well for your very last row. Also you can get the Summit in either a six passenger, which is what you're looking at right now, or you can get a seven passenger, uh, totally up to you, whichever one you need. Heading over to the front driver's side, Again, you've got more of that beautiful wood trim and then lighting underneath here, the ambient lighting, and then more diamond stitching with the brown stitching, of course, and then gloss black all around your controls. Some space here, cup holder. You've got your massive Macintosh speaker, uh, memory seats on this, and massage seats. Not only the driver's side, but passenger as well. And just looking at the interior, it's just 
crazy. It screams, hey, I'm fancy, and it sure is. Because again, look at the seats. You've got the Summit uh, right in there, uh, the logo. Full leather seats, stitching everywhere, diamond stitching, absolutely beautiful. You can put your seat however you want. There's a ton of different options that you can choose from. Uh, and this is on both sides, of course. So with the options for the interior, you can either get this one, which is the black with Topilo seats. You can get black on black, so fully blacked out. Um, or you can get the black with the steel gray. Uh, if you remember the video I did with the high altitude Jeep Wrangler 4xE, those were steel gray seats. You can also get them in this. This Summit logo down here, you obviously can't see it during the day, but at nighttime it is illuminated, which is, you know, that extra little fancy touch. At the bottom, just your regular foot pedals. And this one also has your ambient lighting that matches the interior of the vehicle. Right above that, you've got your hood latch release, uh, electronic parking brake, your headlight controls and all of that and then your fog lights in between here uh, dimmers and then the steering wheel is power adjustable front and back up and down now if we enter the vehicle it's so so nice you've got leather which is really really nice uh really very nice quality uh all around of course and then your brown stitching which goes all around you've got your macintosh speaker set up here one in there and then in the corner over there and then of course you've got more uh, black, kind of like a hard leather with brown stitching that goes all the way around and more wood trim that of course goes all the way around. So with the Macintosh system, you also get a 10 inch subwoofer, which sounds really, really crazy. Another thing, like I mentioned, the LED lighting, uh, ambient lighting that goes underneath here, you can actually change the colors, which is really, really nice. And of course the steering is obviously full leather with more of that kind of like a brown bronze stitching that goes all the way around and then you've got your wood trim right here which is a neat little touch to have on the steering wheel your jeep logo in the middle your controls for the center gauge cluster which i'll cover for you um bluetooth and then this center one is obviously if you want to have like shortcuts and stuff like that you can add right there um and then you've also got your adaptive cruise control with stop and go um, and then your cruise control right there. Of course, just like the Laredos, you get paddle shifters on this as well, both sides. To the left of the steering wheel, you've got your indicator and high beam controls. To the right, you've got your you know, windshield wiper and then your fluid and all of that controls right there. Now in the center gauge cluster, you can obviously select through different options like I'm going through right now, and you can set it to whatever you need. Your speed comes up and then your uh, tack meter and then your speed obviously from here uh, gets a little bit bigger. Uh, you can check, you know, other stuff, vehicle information, trip info, et cetera, et cetera. On these ones, you get built-in navigation in the center gauge cluster here. Very, very nice and very important to have. So you're not looking on your screen all the time. You just have it right in front of you. Also, when you go ahead and start up the Grand Cherokee L, you are welcome with that nice Grand Cherokee logo which looks really cool. And of course, because the Summit has the select terrain system, you can choose from uh, different little options from here or down here, which I'll cover in a few seconds. Now, in terms of the safety features that come standard, you don't have to, you know, purchase extra or stuff like that, like other, you know, manufacturers. So standard features, you know, even though the Laredo had a ton of them, it has similar ones, obviously, and a little bit more. So you get active driving assist, adaptive cruise control with stop and go, side distance warning, surround view camera system, drowsy driver detection, parallel and perpendicular park assist, intersection collision and assist system, pedestrian cyclist emergency braking, full speed forward collision warning, highway assist, traffic sign recognition, blind spot and cross path detection, active lane management system, advanced brake assist and rain brake support. A ton of standard features which is a must-have nowadays and of course you've got you know push to start why not and then that same design like i mentioned in the laredo video falls over to your rotary right here so if we go to the center hand rest again full leather like the rear one with the bronze stitching if you open up the first section you've got a little bit of room to put whatever you need to you close this open up the main one and you've got more room to put whatever you need to and a LED light in there as well. And in the center here, just like the Laredo, you're full of piano black. You open this up, you've got your cup holders, which are illuminated. Very, very nice. Something different on the summits, of course, which you did not see on the Laredo video is this section right here. Of course, you've got your rotary uh, here for the gear selection. And then right here is your air suspension. So right now it's at the highest setting, of course, and it'll show you right there it's on off-road too which is the highest setting 
or you can go to the very last setting for entry and exit purposes. You've got your hill descent control, you've got your manual neutral button right there. Right next to it, you've got four low, and then right here is something that I was mentioning, the select terrain system uh, that comes with the summits. So you can just flick through like, you know, rock, sand or mud, snow, auto, and then sport. Right above that, you've got another section here. You open this up. You've got a wireless charging pad to, you know, charge your phone, obviously, and more USB ports, and then another 12 volt adapter right there. Right above that, you've got your temperature controls, heating and cooling right down here, of course, and then you've got your knobs right there. Uh, because this has both heated and vented seats, you've got heated seats here, vented here for the driver's side, heated steering wheel and then vented and heated for the passenger side and standard on the summits you get a nice looking 10.1 inch touchscreen which looks absolutely beautiful especially with the surrounding of the you know piano black material up top you've got your stop and start uh, system your lane departure warning your traction control parking sensors and then your perpendicular assist right there also with a 10.1 inch screen this is the new uconnect 5 system which gives you wireless apple carplay and wireless android auto usually on the older ones you would have to plug in your phone in order to get the apple carplay and all of that but it's all wireless now so if you get the uconnect 5 app on your phone there's really cool things that you can actually do you can start your vehicle and you can shut it off right off the app you can also lock and unlock your vehicle check your tire pressure flash your lights and so much more and also if you have other people that are driving your vehicle right off the uconnect 5 app you can actually set you know boundary limits monitor their speed uh, check their vehicle location and all of that stuff which is really really cool in terms of like safety and whatnot so of course if you flick through the options here you can obviously go to your home page which will look like this you can go to your media section your comfort section which you can use you know heated seats vented seats or just change the climate from right there um, or you can use the buttons down here you've got your built-in navigation as well phone if you have your bluetooth connected vehicle information right here i'll show you this in a second which is off-roading but we'll go to controls you can dim your mirror you can fold the third row uh, headrest right from a touch of a button you've also got surround camera which gives you a top view and then many other views that you can take a look at from your vehicle also you get the forward facing camera like i mentioned and you can actually clean it by pressing this i'm not going to because this vehicle was just washed so you can press that if it's dirty and it cleans it now if you go into your off-road pages you're gonna click launch off-road pages this gives you a ton of different things uh for example telling you which gear you're in obviously for off-roading your steering angle and all of that stuff you've got your accessory gauges coolant oil you know all of that pressure you know checking whatever you want to do um, you've got your pitch and roll that lets you know if you're going off-roading and you know how tilted you are with your pitch and roll uh, select terrain which is you know kind of like a, a cool little thing that it tells you so if I'm in auto right now this is the image that shows if I go into snow it's gonna change according to what you choose uh, if we press down You've got your suspension setting right here. Tells you what option you're in. Right now, of course, you're in off-road too. And then, of course, you can go back into your front-facing camera. And these buttons up top here, you can press these, for example, I can go through here, and it'll take you to kind of like a menu here. So all of this is touch, which is amazing. Another cool thing, like I mentioned, because this vehicle has driver and passenger massage seats, if you go into comfort, and then you're gonna click on where it shows massage, which is right there. So if you click this, so I'm going to press this so it illuminates it now and you can choose through five different options and you can choose the intensity of it high, medium, low or just turn it off and whatever you click, it'll tell you kind of like what it's going to do. Really, really nice. And the same thing for the passengers. This is really, really cool, especially if you do end up taking this off roading, you can have a nice little massage or if you're stuck in traffic. Have a massage, relax. Over on the rear section, you can obviously control the rear climate. And then uh, on the section that I showed you, the little LCD screen at the bottom, you can do it from the back as well. Up top, you've got your mirror, obviously rear view mirror, which is dimmable. Up here, they've added more gloss black here. Really, really nice. You've got your interior lighting. You've got your tailgate opening. You can actually close it from here as well assist and SOS and then you've also got your shade for the panoramic sunroof venting and then to open your sunroof as well and this is a panoramic sunroof which is a must-have especially in a Grand Cherokee L looks absolutely beautiful coming to the passenger side over here of course 
can't forget about these beautiful, beautiful seats. Uh, in the glove department, you've got a little bit of room to put whatever you need to. And of course, this beautiful, beautiful wood finish. Here is the window sticker. I'm not sure if you can see it with the glare, but you've got your vehicle information here and then your, you know, standard options all the way here and all the way here. And then this is your optional equipment right here. So this has the luxury tech group, which gives you, you know, second row manual window shades, which I showed you. And also the wireless charging pad. You've got also the optional body color roof. And then of course your 19 speaker Macintosh audio system. And that's it for this beautiful 2021 Grand Cherokee L Summit. Let me know in the comments down below if you love it or if you hate it.